And welcome everybody to the Living Life Podcast with your host Rick and and Jerry and Jerry. <laughs> Man, it's like a delay over there. <laughs> Whatever. So am, I, am I doing this podcast in in Japan and you're in the U.S. or what? Maybe it's taking forever. Maybe. Anyways, we got a good show for you today, guys. Uh, we're gonna be talking about uh the good news on our uh, irs stimulus payment we are we have we are, our date we have our we date. have our date we have our date and we're going to tell you how you will know when to get the date and what the irs website is actually saying that i should have paid paid attention to but i was too angry that i didn't have my payment yet so we'll get into that also we're going to be talking about <laughs> or watching a video of the belgium's deputy prime minister trying to put on a face mask also we're going to be looking into uh, murderous hornets that were from japan and now are here and we'll tell you where that's happening also we're going to be looking at uh some tweets from elon musk um i think he might have been on some drugs this weekend or something uh also <laughs> we're going to be looking at some memes from the, you know, from the coronavirus, not the coronavirus, but from the quarantine. Quarantine memes. Yeah, quarantine memes. And so, yeah, let's get started with the podcast. Let's get into it. So, Jerry, how was your day? Um, My day was pretty good. I went to work, came home, ate. Now I feel like I want to sleep. I know. I know how you <laughs> feel. We had a good promo. Uh, I finally got uh, my birthday rewards coming in, you know, May. So I got my free burger today. Yesterday we got a free uh, dozen donuts from Krispy Kremes, and uh, we still got free pizzas from Blaze. And free pancakes. Oh yeah, free pancakes, man! So much free stuff. I'm I'm glad I, I take advantage of these. Yes. Things. <laughs> and they come in they come in handy too, because I mean, if you have like a favorite spot, like for example, like Cinnabon. Some of them will give you a free drink, like a free iced coffee. That's and true. And like, you know, like sprinkles, cupcakes will give you a free cupcake. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's cool things. That you I don't, get, like, I don't have free. those though. I, I don't do. have sprinkles. I think I signed you up. Yeah, but I've, I've never seen anything from them. Maybe, or I don't know if maybe, maybe they're maybe your emails. I email. get the email. <laughs> Jerry. Uh, Anyways. So yeah, welcome guys. Uh, let's get started. So, first of all, the IRS thing, the whole stimulus thing, uh, we have our payment date. It's uh, coming next week. And <clears throat> apparently, it's been right under my nose this whole time. Uh, I went to the IRS, IRS website a few days ago, and I started reading up on this section, which I'm going to show you right now. And uh, let's get it over here. All right, here we go. And it says, <clears throat> it asks the question, when will I get my payment uh, provided after a, when will I get my payment provide a payment date after adding my bank information? So like me, I think last week I had said that we, we uh, entered our bank information. We verified, because they're going to ask you for your, uh, um, if if, if they if they're just now requesting you to put your bank information, they're gonna request your previous tax returns, uh, adjusted gross income. Oh, so you have to have all that ready. You have so to that have way you yeah. Can give it. Oh, okay. So when you go to the get my get my payment portal, you will have to have that information ready. So get your tax returns ready from if you did them last year, uh, 2018, or this year if you have this year's 2019, especially if you owed money to the government last year or this year so what it is is that uh you're gonna need that information put your bank account routing information and your bank account number and uh if you got this information in uh if you read it here it says if you enter your bank information after noon on tuesday your payment date should be available beginning the saturday after next so when I when I entered my so yeah if you entered your information afternoon Tuesday so after Tuesday afternoon Tuesday they will give you a payment date not the this 
this coming Saturday, but they're following Saturday. So that's what happened to us. I put in the pay- payment uh, information on a Thursday. Hmm. So we didn't hear anything on Saturday. And we didn't hear anything the whole week until finally yesterday night that was updated for, for Saturday. Hmm. So now this Saturday, today, we finally got our payment date, which is really cool. <clears throat> so, yes, we have our payment date. So, guys, log in. Go to irs.gov. Don't go irs.com. Don't go irs.org. irs.gov. Hit the get my, get my payment. Put in your information that it requests for you. Like, think your social, uh, your birth date, your address, and your, I uh, think, what is it? Your zip code. I thought you were going <clears> to <throat> say your blood type. Your blood type, <laughs> pretty much. Right? So you put in all that information. It should give you, uh, like, if if you're up for a payment, if you uh, qualify for the payment, it should tell you, we need more information from you. Or they said, they'll say, we mailed out a check to you. Or but more, more than likely, they'll say, we need more information. So they won't just leave you hanging. Yeah. Then. But, again, have that information ready if you're going to enter it. So have your tax returns from last year ready because you're going to need that AIG adjusted, no, AGI, adjusted gross income, which is line six, I think, of the 1040 easy or 1040 uh, tax form. So have that ready, and they're also going to need another number from another line. So you're going to have, have to have those ready. So you put that information, you put your bank info, and if you did it before Tuesday... Then you should hear back from the following Saturday. Yeah. If you put it before Tuesday, you'll hear from them Saturday. But if you put it in the two after Tuesday afternoon, then you will see it the following Saturday. Not the same Saturday, but the following Saturday. Um, and then your payment won't be posted till the following week. So it takes a total of about two weeks. Two and a half weeks to get it done. Dang. So it takes a while. And uh, if you're still not getting a payment status unavailable, uh, they're going to probably require you to do a a tax return. So um, a 2019 return. They probably haven't finished processing that for you. Mm. Uh, The application doesn't have your data, and then they're going to be working on that to get more data for more people and uh, if you don't file taxes then they're going to ask you to put a non-filers tax uh, yeah so you're going to enter the information if you receive ssi or so, veterans so wait, affairs so, benefits so if you're not if you don't file ta- if you don't do your taxes you're not eligible no yeah you get you're eligible, you're eligible? yeah the the thing is that they're like us that they need require more information. Mm. Yeah. And uh, if your SSI or VA benefits information has not been loaded onto the systems yet for people who normally file a tax return. So if you have SSI or VA benefits, you probably won't see it right away. Mm. Or you're not eligible for a payment. Either that you made too much money last year or you owe alimony or something. <laughs> That's the only reason why they're going to take it away. And if you live in California, if you have debt, they cannot take away your stimulus money. Oh, that's good. They cannot. Uh, the governor. Californians are full of debt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the governor signed uh, a, a, what do you call it? A, uh, a stop to all creditors to prevent them from taking stimulus money. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So at least one good thing is coming out of uh, our governor. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a lot of good things coming out of him, but it's this is crazy. one of the main things. Yeah. A lot of people don't like him. They don't like him because, uh, you know, he still has California locked down. And I think it's, you know. I mean, it. yes, the businesses part, like, it does suck, but. Oh yeah, definitely. It's good. I think I think it's good that we're all on lockdown because people are still not they're still not cooperating with the, you know, the 
What is it? The stay at home order. Yeah. Like. Definitely. That I still see it. Yeah. Tons of people in the street. Tons of cars. In the stores. Uh, like just. Like if the, like if nothing was ever happening. Yeah. And then to top it off, some people were like not wearing their mask properly. Yeah, or they'll wear it and then they'll have it hanging off. And it's just like, <laughs> put your mask on. Like, you're around people. Yeah. Like. Well, I mean, that's how the, our culture is, you know? Like, it's me first versus. Or there's nothing wrong with me. Yeah, exactly. Me me first or, you know, too bad. Screw you. Yeah. But then if something happens to them, then it's like, you gave this to me. I'm going to sue you. Yeah. Or their family. If their family gets it, then it's just like yeah. the end of the world. I mean, yes, it's very sad, but you have to think about not only your family, but other people's family. Yep. And other people in general. Other people that are in, you know, yeah. hospitals or in uh, retirement homes. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's the answer right there, guys. If you are waiting for your payment or you want your payment soon um go ahead and put in your information on there for the irs irs irs.gov not anything else okay and if somebody calls you saying like hey you know give us your information we're gonna send you your payment no don't give them nothing nobody's gonna call you it's all online you either wait you either wait for your check to come in the mail or you do it online. And especially if you don't file taxes, do it online. Right away. If you want your money. If you want your money. <clears throat> There's a lot of things too, you know, people um, also have questions. Oh, that's right. Okay. This is another question. Sorry to trying to get out of this already. But so this one is how do I enter negative AIG amount? Oh, okay. AGI, I'm sorry, AIG. AIG, <laughs> AIG insurance company. No, <laughs> AGI. How do I enter a negative AGI? So, for example, uh, you're going to go enter your information to get your payment, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to ask you for your AGI. For example, if you owe negative AGI, then... So, it means if you owe money, right? No, well, if you earned less money last year. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, your gross income was negative. Oh, right. Yeah. So if your adjusted gross income is negative, then you just enter the same number, 2492. Even though it's negative, just put 2492. Same thing uh, if it asks for the other number. Uh, so regardless you, of the amount you make. Yeah, it's going to ask, oh, ask you for your AGI and the amount you got refunded or the amount you owed. So if you got if you owe uh I don't know five hundred dollars, mm -hmm. you know you can't put negative five hundred. You're just gonna put five hundred. Okay. Don't put zero. Yeah. Just put five hundred. If it's negative, if you owe six hundred dollars, put six hundred. It doesn't matter if it's negative or positive. Just put, you know, five hundred, six hundred. Well, if all these questions and all these answers to these questions are on the website, right? Yes. So if somebody is inquiring or just wants to yeah, everything, verify. Yeah, everything is on here. Even uh, uh, like how do I change my bank account information? Uh, or you have a bank account that was closed from your tax return and you want to change it. It tells you everything right here. So if you go to the IRS website, it tells you everything you need to know. Oh, cool. Yeah. You just got to be patient and not try not to get frustrated because that's the way I was. You know, I was just looking in one area. No, and it's I just know. Like, you were just like, like, what the heck? Why is it? You know, but I didn't read into all the all yeah. the other stuff. Yes. You were so, yes. really frustrated. Yes. Especially now, you know, I'm frustrated because I'm trying to get a used car. I'm trying to get like a thousand dollar beater or, uh, you know, twelve hundred dollar beater. And I'm just waiting for this. This is what's stopping me from getting it. I saw a nice Prius today, by the way. <laughs> saw a nice Prius for twenty three hundred. Had a lot of miles. But had a lot of miles. All no, 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 no. That's the <laughs> other one. That's the other one. That other one is super bashed in. Dude, dude they catfish the cars <laughs> so bad. Like what they'll do is they'll like 
put a good picture, like the the like the cover oh, picture yeah. will be like a like a like a clean picture, nice. looking car. Wow, or oh, like, let, let's go. Let's see if we can find it. And then quick. the the back is just like I got hit by like a <laughs> semi. <laughs> Watch, check it out. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Prius. I think if uh, if I put the price on here, I think it'll come up even quicker. I think so. Uh, was it? I'll just put three thousand. But yeah, it's like a pristine looking Prius. It's like a. I think it's a 09. 2009. Where is it at? Where are you? Where are you at? I think it might be on Facebook. Oh, yeah, it is on Facebook. It is on Facebook. Huh? But anyways, it's like a pristine looking Prius. Perfect. It looks yeah. amazing. You like know, all ah, nice. So cheap. And then it says, the description just says, everything runs great except for the details. In Spanish. It says that in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Todo está bien menos los detalles. So, you know, you're thinking like, oh, you know, what's the details? What's yeah. the problem with the car? So then you go into the, the, the details. It doesn't have no details. But you go into the car and you start cl clicking the pictures and you see the whole back end just smashed, looking like a freaking pancake. And you're like, oh, everything's good, but the, the, those, those details, details. <laughs> those details are pretty freaking bad. Uh, it's so hard. It's so hard to find a used car right now. Uh, well, it's so far, uh, hard to find a used car for a good price because yeah. everybody thinks that their their, their, hunk, their like, hunk of junk is worth three thousand dollars. Yep. And it's like, come on, like. I wish you could find that Prius. I don't really want to go into Facebook. Yeah. Look at that, two thousand bucks. Two thousand bucks for an O five Prius. Like? 05 Prius looks good. Wow, nice tires. It's clean on the inside. Wow. Hey, this is nice, Jer. Yeah, it is nice. 237,000. And it's not salvage rec uh, record either. Oh, maybe we should do this. Well. <laughs> well, decent 05 Toyota Prius for the price. Cheapest clean title, one you could find. It needs nothing mechanically. Smog pass. It's a top trim package. It has xenon headlights. Wow. Bluetooth. Wow. Paint still shines. Interior. Man, I think I'm going to get this one. Two grand? My friend has a, a special Toyota hybrid scanner, so he checked the hybrid batteries, and they were within one, milli one volt, 0 0.1 volt from each other. Wow. So why is he getting rid of it? Hmm. I don't know. See that those th these are the ones that make you kind of like suspicious. Yeah, like oh yeah, everything's great. You know, everything's clean, everything's cool. And How come the dash is not on? <laughs> you know what though? Let's give it a shot. Let's look at it, Patrick. I will. I will come to you. Save it. I'm gonna ask him. I will come on Thursday. Wednesday or Thursday? I don't know. Well, no, don't don't make any promises yet, just in case it doesn't it falls through, you know. Okay. But just save it, save it. Okay, save. Then... We're gonna save it to our quick saves. <laughs> yeah. We have so many on the quick saves. So many. Hey, this is a good one, Jer. Really good. And he posted it three days ago on Sierra Madre. Wow, and he lives right here, man. He lives right next to our house, six miles away. Come on. Come on, stimulus. Where are you? <laughs> Man. All right, we're getting off track here. I we're know. We're getting off track. We're over here shopping for cars on our podcast. Anyways, let's get into it. <laughs> this is the Belgian prime minister. I mean, I don't want to make fun of him, but it's funny. It's funny that the man does not know how to put on a mask. And let's get it down. No. <laughs> what oh is he trying to do? No. <laughs> no way. No. <laughs> oh my god, he's still trying to. <laughs> no, I think he was playing. You think so? I think so. He I put, don't know. He put it Jared. on the top of his head first. Face. <laughs> top of his head, right? <laughs> I think he's just doing it to be funny. <laughs> 
if we spoke, what is this, Belgium? Like, Belgium. What? Belgium? Maybe we can understand what he's saying. Yeah, I think I think it's like a gag. Um, you think so? Yeah. That's pretty funny. I think he, he did it to get the laugh. He's like trying to cover his shine. <laughs> yeah, that's why he puts it up here first. And- <laughs> oh man! All right, let's get into the next topic. Uh, hornets. Now I don't know. I don't know if you guys know, but there are a couple of hornets. Well, there's a lot of hornets in Japan, and these hornets are known to decimate bees, normal bees, honey bees, uh, African bees, Africanized bees, and these hornets are. They can they can ruin our crop industry. Because if they kill all the bees that we have left in the United States, guess what? Who's going to pollinate all of our stuff? And it's going to be bad. Whenever so, I think yeah. of, of bees and like 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 pollen and stuff like that, like yeah. I think of the bee movie. Oh, the bee movie? Yeah. <laughs> Remember that? With, uh, with what's his name? Uh, Jerry Seinfeld? Jerry Seinfeld! <laughs> yeah, well, it's true because you know the part where, like where like the bees stop working, uh-huh. and everything starts to die. Flowers start to die. Oh yeah, like everything, like the air just gets bad. Like <laughs> that's true. And that will happen if bees are killed by these the ginormous things. So there are these things called the Asian giant hornets. <clears throat> And they've been settling in the northwest in Washington. And as you can see, look at the size of this thing. Look at the size of it. Now imagine his thumb. See how big his thumb is? Look at how big. If you put your thumb right next to it, that is a gigantic, gigantic insect. And guess what? They have a bad stinger. They can sting you and they can bite you. And these things, according to this article, says that it can go through beekeeper outfits. So if somebody tries to go remove their nest, they're going to be pretty badly stung. So, um, So yeah, it says, in Blaine, Washington, Ted McFall had never seen anything like it. As he pulled up his truck to check on a group of hives near... Custer, Washington, in November, he could spot from the window a mess of bee carcasses on the ground. As he looked closer, he saw a pile of dead members of the colony in front of the hive and more carnage inside. Thousands and thousands of bees with their heads torn from their bodies and no sign of the culprit. And he said, I couldn't wrap my head around. What could have done that? Says, uh, only later did he come to suspect, suspect that the killer was what some researchers simply call the murder hornet. And then it says that queens can grow up to two inches long for the Asian giant hornets and can use mandibles shaped like spiked shark fins to wipe out a honey beehive in a matter of hours. So what they do is they decap- decapitate the bees and then they take them to their babies in, the, in their nest. And then they feed them. My goodness. Yeah. So again, it says, uh, for larger targets, the hornet's potent venom and stinger are long enough to puncture a beekeeping suit. Make for an excruciating combination that victims have likened to hot metal driving into their skin. And then it says that in Japan, they kill up to 50 people a year. People? People. My God. (laughs) So now imagine in a population, like let's just say like, they decide to build a nest, like, in, like, freaking downtown. How many people would get killed each year? Oops. And especially if they can't really remove them properly. So this is the picture of the beehive when he came in. Basically, all the bees are destroyed. It's <clears throat> crazy, though, how it they, ter- they, they decapitate them. Mm-hmm. They go behind the bee, and basically where the thorax like meets just the head, like- and they just cut like that, and the head just pops off. I've seen videos on uh, on the tube, on the YouTubes. 
<laughs> so yeah, they're planning to go up there and trying to find out where are they so we can get them destroyed. Because again, if bees are not pollinating our stuff, then we won't have nothing to eat. No avocados, no almonds, no pistachios. Just think about it. No fruits, no fruit, uh, fruit. <laughs> no oranges, no watermelons. Yeah. So we need to take them down. They gotta go. Look at how big they do. Look at look at the mandible. Look at that thing. Looks like it has a mustache. <laughs> a mustache? Like, hey, what's up? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> <Like>, orally. <laughs> <laughs> orally. <laughs> It reminds me of uh, what's that guy from uh, the grasshopper from? Oh, uh, Hopper. Yeah, Hopper. Reminds me of Hopper from uh, a bug's from life? a Bug's Life. So yes, if you see any of these things, kill them. I mean, who can you call? Exterminators? Ghostbuster? No, I'm just kidding. Damn. <laughs> um, no, I would, I would just say like try to kill them yourself if you I can. Will, I will wonder if you would call like. Uh, Three one one. No, like the USGS. I don't know. You know, because they handle they handle multiple things: earthquakes, geological well, surveys. I mean, I like would. <clears throat> I would probably try to call like not. Maybe. Because I mean, you can't really call a well, normal. Well, three one one is like an operator. No. I don't know. An operator to like get you like to like a shelter or animal care or. Mm hmm. I think it's different. I think it's different in every city. What the number? So, if anybody knows a number you can call, if you ever spot these in or your hometown like a website or, or a website, let us know in the comments so we can put it out there. Yeah. So, if you have sightings or nests of these things, we need to get rid of them before they destroy our country. Because they they can destroy our country. Or they can really put us in a hurt. Do some damage. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get into the next subject. Elon Musk. Elon Musk is uh, pretty crazy. He's been saying all kinds of stuff online, on Twitter. Not online, on Twitter. So it, it all started on the 30th. And... Um, Basically, I think CNN had said that a funeral director was saying that they're saying that a lot of people that were coming into the funeral home were saying <clears throat> were saying that a lot of the bodies that were coming in, regardless if they died of COVID or not, they were just coming in saying that they all died of COVID. So Elon Musk tweeted out, you know, this must stop. So, or this needs to stop. I don't know what, if this maybe triggered him or something or or anything like that. I think it's being cooped up in his house. Maybe. I, I really think so. Because he, it sounds like, you know how, how you feel like when you don't have interaction with people and you're alone and... Or you're, you're upset with somebody and you're alone and, you and you're cooped up in your house and you're just like, Bleh! you're feeding on all your feelings. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I feel that he's took in his mind to Twitter and he just is letting it like all out. So, you know, people are backing him up like this guy, uh, Ross Gerber, says that Elon Musk has thousands of workers with rent due yet. There are basically no cases, no new cases in North California. Everyday businesses is closed, cost people their financial security. Elon cares about his getting his people back to work in a safe manner, as do I. As as I do too. So then Elon Musk said exactly. <clears throat> it says, uh, you know, people are asking him for different stuff. It says, just spoke with my local hospital administrator this morning who confirmed that COVID-19 positive test is not required to report a death as coronavirus related. So then it says, what is real anymore? And then it says, 
uh, classifying all deaths as corona, even if corona didn't cause the death, is simply a lie. Dr. Brooks said it right on live TV on CNN. Says, Elon, why are hospitals overstating this COVID-19 deaths? Won't it cause even more panic among people who, who are benefiting from all this? And then it says, incentives matter. I didn't know that Elon Musk was a doctor. I don't know. if I don't think he's a doctor. Well, this guy is he's, I think he's a him. college dropout. College dropout. <laughs> hey, I'm a college dropout. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, it says, uh, now give the people freedom. So this is when he starts going into a tirade. It says, uh, he starts saying, oh, say does the Star Spangled Banner yet wave. He's basically saying the national anthem. Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. And then it says, now give the people back their freedom. <laughs> so it says, uh, is it actually, he is the only tech leader that is not losing it. All the others are cheering the massive civil rights violations going on right now. And then it says, how cheaply freedom is sold. And uh, also that his baby is due on Monday. <laughs> you know what? He probably bought his uh, his acre on Mars. That's why he doesn't care about anybody or anything. So him and all his little cyber trucks can go up and be in Mars. Yeah, hey, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to Mars in cyber truck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, he probably got his 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 uh, acre of land uh, on Mars from mm, Groupon, yeah. and he's probably all. So at one point he said something that on a see if I can find it. He said something about. This one. Tesla stock is too high, in my opinion. So this is where he can get in trouble. Because he owns Tesla. And let's just say he he did tweet this out. But he wanted the company to kind of like reduce the value of shares. Because it went down like 10% immediately as soon as he mm -hmm. said that. It went down 10%. So imagine it went down 10% and then he en he ends up buying stock of his own company because mm -hmm. he said that he kind of made the market go down so he can you know try to skate skate some some stock so it can go back up. Yeah. So that's that could be illegal especially if he did it in that in that manner because of that. <clears throat> so he can go to jail for something like this. So it's 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 like those politicians who who invested in the stock market who sold their stocks of like hotels and uh you know restaurants and stuff like that right before they started shutting down the government because they had insider information knowing that all this shit was going to go down and they sold all their stuff before it went down. So look he at can them go to now. jail for But look at them like now. They're not in jail. But yeah, because they're politicians. Of course. Well, he's but he's Elon not a politician. He's, 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 he's the Tesla man. He ain't going to go to jail. Yeah. I don't think he will, but he can if they... If they really wanted to pursue it, they probably could. So he's been pretty... Uh, pretty active. Pretty active. He wants to go to Mars. He's even at one point said he wants to sell his, all his possessions. No, he said he will sell all his possessions. <laughs> and he don't need a house. Yeah. So hopefully Elon Musk was on a good one. Maybe he was smoking some broken windows. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But he's a smart guy. He's a real smart guy. Obviously not. He is. He's uh, very intelligent. Very intelligent. Even though he didn't finish school. He's still very intelligent. Well, yeah, he made the breakless window that <clears throat> broke on the... <laughs> <laughs> he didn't make it. Somebody make it. Well, Anyways, let's get into the memes. Let's get into it. Uh, let me make sure our window's up. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So, meanwhile, in Florida... Well, everybody here is on lockdown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So it's basically uh, 86, 86 laughter going to, uh, <laughs> I guess, a hotel with a beach beach party or something or a pool party going on. And he shows the uh, Florida death spike. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like I feel like they do need to reopen the 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 whole country again. But in a way, I'm terrified of the fact that if they do open it, and let's just say they are not lying about the deaths of COVID and how fast it may spread to everybody. I mean, just to give you guys context, my job has had four cases in the last two weeks. I'm not going to say where I work, but four cases. And I'm terrified because, A, I'm fat. B, I have a little bit of hypertension. And that's very bad for if you get corona. Because you can die. So I am terrified of going back to work. I haven't gone to work in like a week, week and a half. Just because I heard the news, they were sending us information about it. And it's just like, you know what? Let me let them clean it a little bit and let them clean all the stuff in, in, in our place before I go back. Because yeah. I don't want to be the fool to show up and catch it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And let them clean it up. I mean, they test us every day. When you go in, they give you new masks every day. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't want to be around that, you know. I want, I want the, I want this, this to reopen. I want the, you know, I want to go back to going to the movies. I want to go back to going out to eat. But then again, I'm, I'm terrified that if I do go out to do that stuff, guess what? I'm at risk. And well, I'm, not only that, but I'm putting my wife at risk. I'm putting my son at risk, my family. It's hard. It is hard. And that's like, I think that's what what I was going to say was that like, we're used to that normalcy, like going to the movies, going to the market, just, you know, going to Target just because. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now it's different because we're, I mean... Maybe if people were to stop calling it a lockdown. Yeah. Because I think that that term makes people want to rebel against it and be like, who's going to tell me to lock down? Um, you know, it's free will. I have free will. Mm -hmm. It's a free country. I can do what yeah. I want. Exactly. You know what I mean? And you have a lot of people that think like that. And those people are out having pool parties, mm -hmm. out having barbecues. Like, you know, with friends and stuff like that. Like, okay, family is different. Mm -hmm. Because family, you're a lot closer yeah. than you <clears> are <throat> with. So if you go have dinner Strings. with your family, it's different than, hey, let's have a barbecue and invite so-and-so. And yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's it's not proper anymore. Yeah. Not anymore. It's just not right now. Yeah. Because it like, can be it can be proper again once again, yeah. but not just not at this moment. Like what? Like, you know, for like all the other pandemics that happen, mm -hmm. like. I'm sure they had to stop doing, you know, stop going out, stop because they wanted to, to stop the spread of the virus or yeah. the plague or whatever was going on back then, you know. And if the doctors are lying about the deaths, they shouldn't be doing that. They shouldn't be classifying deaths that are not COVID. Yeah. Like if they died of a heart attack, put that they died of a heart attack. If they died of, uh, you know, a burst artery or whatever, yeah. put that on there. Don't lie about it. But I mean, I guess if they pay you to do that, who's who's to? I mean, we've been watching the Ozarks, and the way the, that show. I mean, it's a show. But I mean, the way you look at it, this is like it could be possible that, that people are that devious, pay, yeah, like, to get money for doing certain stuff like that. Yeah. All right, uh, next meme. Next yeah. meme. Next meme. Yeah. <laughs> next meme. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> oh, nope. Next meme. 
Sorry to go off on a tangent. Yeah. We went off way off the tangent. No, we haven't. We're, we're talking about. I know, but that was like way. Like, we're, no. we're supposed to be laughing and we're over here talking about, like, man, if this is real, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, you can't help it. I know, I know. I know, but we went, we went pretty far off. <laughs> so, this one here, it says when people can't stay home for 30 days but can stay in a toxic relationship for years. What kind of nonsense is this? <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty I, funny it's sad but funny yeah it's dude a lot of people are filing for divorce but you know what though a lot of people are filing for uh, marriage licenses too yeah in orange county of a, all lot places. Of people, <laughs> huh. a lot of people are getting married yeah they are a it, lot of people even and a lot with, of people are pregnant yeah even with like the whole quarantine theme like they'll be wearing masks and like they're kissing through their masks it's so cute not us we're not getting pregnant well no knock on the wood please no not even that's not even real wood yes it is (laughs) this is wood this is bamboo with parquet okay bamboo bamboo (laughs) bamboo (laughs) all right here's another one (laughs) this man at the market (laughs) <laughs> this is a mother country lick. Oh yeah. Isoka kako kakovo. And it says protect. <laughs> <laughs> that was the prime minister yeah. of Belgium right there. Oh man. Now here's the next one. People after quarantine and barbers and divorce lawyers. Oh, it's coming. And eyebrow, <laughs> eyebrow, th- eyebrow threading places. Oh, I know. Nail places. <laughs> everything places. Mm-hmm. They're ready I mean, to. They're getting ready. Uh-huh. You know what though? If if they do reopen it with restrictions, you know, for wearing face masks, being six feet apart, I think they can. Businesses can reopen. The problem is, will businesses enforce those rules? You know, some people are very... And they're more about profit. Exactly. Like, you know? Get more people in here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Like, you know, the a, a, per, a place that has, mm. you know, only, like, um, enough room for, like, 100 people mm-hmm. has 200 to 300 people. And they should only be having, like, you know, like, a total of, like, 50 people in a store at mm, one yeah. time during this time. Mm-hmm. But even 50 is too too much. Yeah. They should have at least like twenty to ten people, like ten to twenty people mm-hmm. at a store at one time. But no, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know. What they're gonna I mean, you've do. been telling me that you, when you go to the store, it's just like packed. Like it's like not even quarantine. Yeah, it's like people are like not even. Like they don't care. Like everybody has a mask. Oh, a majority of people have a mask on. But they're still packed like sardines in the store. Yeah. And it's not cool. Well, we got to hope for the best. That's all we can do. And that's going to be it for us. Right, Jer? So we want to thank you guys for tuning in. Maybe they're listening on, on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or Spotify. Also uh, on YouTube. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for subscribing. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, please. And hit that notification bell so you know exactly when we put out the next podcast or the next video, the next recipe, the next uh, quest, the next, uh, well, whatever we do. Whatever it is, because it's living life. And we're just living the life right now. We're living our quarantine, our best quarantine life. Yeah. (laughs) And I hope uh, if you guys stay tuned for the whole IRS thing, hopefully uh, our podcast helps you kind of, you know, get your payment because we, you know, we need help on our payment. And uh, I got a good channel for you guys to go watch if you guys want exclusive in-depth coverage of the whole stimulus thing. It's called Clear Value Tax. These guys, it's a, a tax firm. So that's all they deal with taxes and they are in, they, they get information from the IRS. So directly? They're, they're, well, not directly, but you know, they, they research what they have to research. 
So if you want the best information for taxes, go to Clear Value Tax. It's like, it's like. That's on YouTube. It's like Twitter for tax. Yeah, Twitter for tax. Yeah. But it's YouTube. But it's not. So again, thank you guys for watching. Again, Stitcher, Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, on YouTube. Subscribe. Oh, uh, what else? Thank you for watching. Thank you thank for you watching. For our subscribers. Thank you, subscribers. That we just got four in the last two days, which is amazing. Thank you. Thank you guys. Um, also, we do have a GoFundMe for a friend, uh, Jesse Martinez. He he got uh, murdered. Yeah, he was on the 15th of April and the family needs help with funeral costs so if you guys go to the GoFundMe it's going to be on the on our description uh, so again thank you guys for watching we'll catch you guys on the next one peace